A new bridge in southeast Portland is taking shape and will soon give walkers, cyclists, and max riders another option for their commutes. Fox News' Deborah Gill has a look at. It's all about safety first and a shorter commute for many. This bridge, once finished, will give people on foot or on bicycles a safer option to get across a very busy railway area here. Many times a day, freight trains travel the tracks along Gideon Street in southeast Portland. Sometimes they make lengthy stops, creating delays for commuters and giving them no choice but to go way around. I have to ride down all the way back to the other stop to get across, so it's nice to have the easy access over to the other side. Or they do something dangerous. I see just like hordes of people jumping over the train just because while it's like slightly moving or slowed down just to get over because um, there's not really another way unless you want to wait sometimes like 40 minutes. So progress on a new bridge here has people excited for change. I think it's awesome. It's taken a while. I live in the neighborhood, but it's a great thing. In the overnight hours, crews used a crane boom to lift the span of the bridge into place. Once finished, the bridge will give walkers and cyclists a safe option to cross over the freight train and max rail tracks below. TriMet and the city worked with the community to design the bridge. Now with the towers and the span in place, crews will move ahead with installing the stairways, elevators and electrical system, as well as building out the bridge's canopy and decking. Construction is expected to wrap up in the fall at a total cost of around $15 million. In Southeast Portland, Deborah Gill, Fox 12 Oregon.